Well, dear students, now we'll come to the next group of adjustments which are termed as hidden adjustments or implied adjustments. Well, these adjustments are directly not given below trial balance. Instead, we have to find out these adjustments by the hints which are given to us in trial balance. Well, we'll take the first adjustment. We'll take one trial balance as on 31st March 20. In trial balance, they've given 10% loan borrowed, credit side 50,000. Below this loan, they've given the date 1, 10, 19. The next item given in trial balance is interest on loan, debit side 1,000. Well, the importance, the relevance of the date which they have given in trial balance 1, 10, 19 means 10 percent loan we have borrowed on 1, 10, 19. So, if we calculate the interest, interest which we have to pay on this loan is for the period from 1, 10, 19 to 31st March 20. So, guys, interest we have to pay for six months on this loan well if we calculate the interest 50,000 we multiply by rate of interest that is 10 by 100 into period from 110 19 to 31st March 20 that is six months 6 by 12 so total interest which we have to pay in current year on this loan comes to 2,000 500 well <clears throat> now we will check how much interest we have paid this year so if you refer the trial balance the next item given in trial balance is interest on loan 1000 that means total we had to pay 2500 out of that 1000 already we have paid so outstanding interest of 1000 500 so students basically this adjustment becomes a adjustment of outstanding interest on loan to be paid 1500 now let us understand the effects of this adjustments we'll take profit and loss account and balance sheet first we'll post the trial balance items 10 percent loan borrowed will post in balance sheet below non-current liabilities inner column 50,000 interest on loan given in trial balance we will post in profit and loss account debit side inner column 1,000 now we'll give two effects for outstanding interest one will add with interest on loan in profit and loss account debit side 1,500 and total 2,500 will record outer column in profit and loss account the other effect will give is will add with loan in balance sheet liability side 1500 and outer column will record total 51500 well if with this same question they don't give the date below the loan in trial balance in that case our interpretation will be that the loan is since from the beginning of the year and we have to calculate interest for full year in that case interest will be 50,000 into 10 percent which comes to 5,000 well if they don't give interest on loan in trial balance they have given interest on loan in trial balance 1000 rupees but if they don't give this interest in that case entire interest that becomes outstanding interest well now we'll come to the next hidden adjustment again we'll take one trial balance as on 31st march 20 in trial balance they've given 10 percent government securities debit side 50,000. well if we understand this item 10 percent government securities that means the firm has invested in government securities 
they have purchased some government securities of rupees 50,000. They are investments done by the firm on which they have to receive interest 10 percent per annum but if you refer trial balance in trial balance they have not given any interest on credit side that means entire interest is outstanding yet to be received so students this adjustment becomes of outstanding interest on government securities to be received well if we calculate the interest 50,000 into 10 by 100 that comes to 5,000 and since entire interest is yet to be received if we see the two effects let us take profit and loss account and balance sheet if we post the trial balance item 10 percent government securities will post on asset side below investments balance sheet inner column 50,000 now we'll take the adjustment we'll give two effects the first interest 5000 profit and loss account credit side will record by outstanding interest on government securities the second effect we give is in investments government securities will add outstanding interest 5000 and total 55,000 will show in outer column. Well, now we'll come to the next important hidden adjustment, which is on apprentice premium. Well, if we understand the term apprentice premium, apprentice means training. Premium means the amount which is paid by the trainee to the firm. Well, if the firm gives any training to the trainees, the firm will charge some amount as a training fees and this fees which is paid by the apprentice to the firm is known as apprentice premium. Well, it is the income of the firm and it gets credited to profit and loss account. Well, this we'll understand with one illustration. We'll take trial balance as on 31st March 20. In trial balance, they've given apprentice premium, credit side 6000 well below apprentice premium in bracket they have given received for two years on 110 19. now 6000 rupees apprentice premium guys we have received for two years so first we work out okay in current year what will be our apprentice premium income well in current year we have received this premium on 110 19 so if we calculate the amount of premium of current year from 11019 to 31st march 20 it comes to six months so in current year our income will be of six months well if we calculate 6000 into 6 by 12 the current year's apprentice premium will be 1500 that should be credited to profit and loss account entire adjustment becomes of pre-received apprentice premium well if we see the effects we'll take profit and loss account and balance it in profit and loss account credit side will record by apprentice premium inner column 6000 now if we see the adjustment effects the first effect from profit and loss account will deduct 4500 as pre received apprentice premium and outer column will record 1500 which is our current year's apprentice premium income the second effect guys will show on liability side pre received apprentice premium 4500 